Section 1 of the bill would allow either the Speaker or the Senate President to intervene in a case where the Attorney General has refused to defend a statute or a constitutional provision, or a case where he is defending such a statute or constitutional provision in an inadequate manner. Of course, this issue has recently received attention because of the federal court decision on Section 233A of our Kentucky Constitution, which is more commonly known as the Marriage Amendment. It could also come up in a variety of other contexts, but that amendment in particular was overwhelmingly approved by the voters of this state in 2004. And contrary to what some would imply, the legal status of this issue is far from settled. No federal court of appeals has actually ruled such a provision is unconstitutional. As the governor recognized, to not pursue an appeal would leave us with a chaotic situation, and the state has now entered into a $100,000 contract with a law firm to handle this appeal because the attorney general didn't pursue it. The U.S. Supreme Court, in the case that they decided related to the marriage issue, the case out of California, Hollingsworth versus Perry, based its decision solely on the issue of standing. In that case, the Supreme Court said, state law may provide for other officials to speak for the state in federal court. And Mr. President, that is why we need this legislation to grant standing to legislative leaders. Section two of the bill relates to another issue and clarifies the existing requirement in statute that when the Attorney General obtains a judgment on behalf of the Commonwealth for money damages, he may recover his cost of litigation, he may make required consumer restitution, but all other amounts that he receives are to be deposited into the General Fund surplus account to be appropriated by the legislature. The Attorney General has tried to avoid this requirement by having the court sign an agreed order to give him sole discretion to distribute funds to the tune of more than $30 million. This bill would require the Attorney General to inform the court of the statutory provisions that require proceeds to go to the general fund, and it would, would allow the Speaker or the Senate President to intervene in a case to ensure that there is compliance with this section of the statutes.